Hey guys, Thomas Aarons here. Welcome back to Aarons Bassin. Today, we're talking about my top three October river baits to be you should be throwing right now. Let's go. So to start with, we're gonna start with number three on my list of a bait that you should be throwing right now. Number three, I want you to go and pick yourself up a small walking bait. Now this one right here is made by Henderson. This is, a, this is the Zara Spook puppy version. The reason I want you to go with a smaller one is in most rivers around the country, you're not necessarily dealing with six and seven pound class fish. Generally speaking, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of in between that one and three pound range. I want you to start out with the smaller walking bait. If your fishery actually is a higher class or a better class fish, absolutely upgrade. Go to a shower blows or a primary size spook. Colors, keep them simple. I want you to go with the chrome colors. And then you can throw this one on your regular spinning outfit. If you go up to your regular size spook, then switch over to your bait casting stuff. But this is number three on my list. Now, number two on my list of baits that you need to be throwing in October on rivers right now is a Ned Rig. But this is not any normal Ned Rig. This is one I've been talking about on my channel for a while now. This is the Power Ned Technique. The head I like to use for this is made by Nickel Lures. It has this beautiful weed guard right here and a stouter hook. And what makes this so great is I can fish this on bait casters. I usually throw this on my primary bait casting setup, which is a medium heavy rod with 16 to 18 pound test floor, 16 to 18 pound fluorocarbon. I am able to fish this a lot faster. And I'm also able to get a better hook in those bigger fish. On these rivers, especially on the Potomac River and the Shenandoah where I fish a lot, we don't have a lot of world-class fish. So when we hook one, we wanna make sure we get it in. And that's why I go with the power Ned head. The water's starting to cool down, the fish are a lot more aggressive this time of year, and they're gonna be putting up a lot more of a fight. Instead of just going with a regular Ned head that's a little bit smaller, try this power one so you have the tackle that if you hook that fish of a lifetime, you're gonna be able to get it in. So this is number two on my list. The number one bait, in my opinion, that you should be throwing in October on river systems, it has to be the jerk bait. Specifically, is the type of that you need to be throwing, the type of jerk bait you should be throwing. This right here is a, basically a Walmart special. It is a Cordell Spot jerk bait. There's also a trout magnet version and also the smaller Rapala Z jerk bait series. Why the smaller one? Again, match the bait fish. I specifically, when I go out there, I'm gonna start with a smaller version and work my way up. If I'm getting into a better quality of fish, I might try to go with the bigger one. But going with a smaller one right here, you're gonna be able to maximize your ability to bring fish into the boat. I would start with this one here, and then the next one I would go to is the KVD version jerk in chrome, okay? Especially for the rivers around here that are really clear and shallow, stick with the smaller bill in that chrome pattern. Now, the other variation on this, if you have a lot of weeds you're dealing with, is to go with the soft jerk bait, something like this. This is a Zoom Fluke Junior, and green pumpkin. You can also go white pearl. But anyway, guys, those are my top three baits for October. If you guys have any comments of what you guys think it is, let me know in the description below. We'll see you next time.